afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Minnesota Twins. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. He will lead this one off today. Here now the 2-2. High and deep to straightaway right. Going back is the right fielder. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. At the plate now, Daniel Murphy. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's driven in four runs on four hits to this point in the series. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. In now for Colorado, Charlie Blackman. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. At the plate, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the 2-1. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And the Twins have something brewing right away. It's a leadoff double. So now to the plate. Jorge Polanco on a good curveball. Gets him swinging for route number one. So stepping in, Nelson Cruz, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. Batting court. The designated hitter, Miguel. Stepping in now, Miguel Sano. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. The second for one. On to Murphy. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. David Dahl to the plate now, batting 300 for the series, three for 10. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Chasing after it is Rosario, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That is good. The into the box, Trevor Story. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Line toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Dull. Rounds the corner and is headed home. He will score as they extend their lead to two. That is that the designated hitter, Ryan. In now, Ryan McMahon. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. The 3 2 pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that is off the wall. A 
batting it. The second base number one. Into the box now. Garrett Hampson fouled away. The one two. Story at third. McMahon stands at second. No outs. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Dom Nunez has got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. 1-1. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Back to the mound and off his leg. Throw gets him, so they are able to get an out on an unusual play. And hopefully the pitcher's okay. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. The 1 1 home. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Kepler will put this one away, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Up next for Minnesota, Mitch Garver. He's got 10 RBIs in the series already, and he's done so with seven base hits. He's set. Here's the 3 1. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. The 1 1. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Blackman is there and he makes the catch for the out. The relay throw and he's safe. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. First at bat for him in this one and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Count is one and two now. As a look now the pitch. Now a curveball misses inside. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The runners are at first and third, one away. And that's low ball four. So the bases are loaded here with one man gone. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Ready with two balls and a strike. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Here's a fly ball well hit. After it is Blackman. But he can't get to it, and this might clear the bases. And they're on the board as this is now a 3-1 ball game. The batter, number two, second baseman, Louis. To the plate now, Luis Arias. Oh, this could be trouble now. It's three and one. 
it often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Hit back up the middle. Story scoops it up. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. New inning set to get underway, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Daniel Murphy. Oh, and now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Lifted the other way to left center. Buxton is right there, one down. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Third inning here. Three to one our score. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. The right fielder, number 19. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. He's right there. And there are two away now. Now with the plate, David Dahl. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Popped him up. Donaldson has room in foul territory. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Riding in once again, Jorge Polanco. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Counts even, two and two for Polanco. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So with a man aboard now, the RBI men will have an opportunity with nobody out in the inning. Stepping in now, Nelson Cruz. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Here's Miguel Sano. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Miguel Sano. Here's the 2 1. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Toppy is in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The next twin up, Josh Donaldson. He reached on a walk in his last time up and later came around to score. A 1 1 is in there for the second strike. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Line drive to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. Polanco is on his way home. 
He scores. And the deficit is down to only one now. Into the box, Mitch Garver. Round ball, foul down the left side. He set the payoff pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Trevor Story. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Now the pitch. And this is where he's especially dangerous, because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now back, good to be the hitter. Ryan so now to the plate, Ryan McMahon offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time as he steals second. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Ah, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. Runner in scoring position at second with one away. And up steps Garrett Hampson to bat. Here now the 2-2. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Digging in now, Dom Nunez. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. 1 and 1, here it comes. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate now, Rymel Tapia. Two balls and a strike. Five runs, seven hits. No errors in the ball game for the Rockies thus far. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Grounded to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping in the long ball threat, Eddie Rosario gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the payoff pitch home. Here's a huge swing by Rosario and a deep drive to right field. And that one is gone! Jake McGee will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 51, Jake McGee. In now, Max Kepler. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer him dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Flips the corner of the zone with a sinker for a strike. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Still one and two as he fouls it away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the run is Dahl. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Story is there and the side is retired. Here's Daniel Murphy now. 0 for 2. He's flown out twice. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The one two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rosario is there. One out. Ready now, Nolan Arenado. He doubled his last time through. Two and one. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And it misses three and one now. And the pitch. And it's up to a three two full count now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he's going to make the play over toward his right, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Five runs, seven hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. He'll get it into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Homer Bailey, now a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Ladies and gentlemen, you are 22. Now pitching for the corner. Number 15. Into the box now, David Dahl. One and two now as that one's fouled off. As a look, now the pitch. That misses, and we're even at two and two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pop the mitt and bury that inside. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't now like their chances there. Trevor Story. Standing in now, Trevor Story. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. And he struck him out. So a masterful job of being thrown into the fire and getting the big strikeout to end the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. The 1-1. One, one. Oh, 
walks at third. Gloved by Arenado. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now with the plate, Nelson Cruz, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. McGee's ready. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Big swing by Sano and a ball sent to deep left field. And gone. An absolute bomb. Into the box, Josh Donaldson. And he misses two and one. His individual history against Jake McGee. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. He'll try it again, three and two. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Here's Ryan McMahon now. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 2-2. Two -two. Slow grounder to first. He's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Stepping into the box, Garrett Hampson. No hits to this point. One out, nobody on. Lays off two and two now. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. A bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. The catcher, number three, Dom Nunez. To the plate now, Dom Nunez. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ryan Shaw enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 29, Ryan. Digging in once again, Mitch Garver. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Tapia. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Into the box now, Eddie Rosario. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last AB, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. 
Here comes the payoff pitch. Three. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two now gone now. Coming to the plate now, Max Kepler. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a liner. And no chance on the throw. So a great effort, but that'll be scored a base hit. The center fielder, number 25. At the plate, Byron Buxton hit in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Tyler Duffy is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 21. Tyler. Seventh inning ready to roll. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Rymel Tapia. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Up next for Colorado. So striding Number forward eight. now, Daniel Daniel. Murphy. He flew out in his last at bat. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it's a foul ball. Man, he wants that swing back. He'll be thinking about that all night. He crushed that ball. He just needs to stay back a little longer. Throw gets him two down. Striding in for the Rockies, Nolan Arenado hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. James Pazos gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 47. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Luis Arias. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a pop up now. There to make the catch is Arenado for the first out. Standing in for him Polanco. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Pazos is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be getting There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Blackman going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Here's Nelson now Cruz now. Right fielder, Nelson. Nelson. Cruz. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So some success with two out keeps the inning alive for Miguel Sano. Now that the designated hitter. So now to the plate, Miguel Sano. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. hit to first Murphy's got it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over your attention please new pitcher set to take over now it's the right-hander Sergio Romo that gets the call Sergio. 
ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Charlie Blackman. The 1-1. One, one. Gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Digging in and looking for more, David Dahl. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Full count, three and two. Here's the two seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. So a runner at first now with one away, and in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Line to the right side, in there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that the designated hitter, Ryan. At the plate now, Ryan McMahon. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Carlos Estevez is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Josh Donaldson. 1-1. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Dahl is there and he has it for the out. Digging in, Mitch Garver. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Taken high and deep to right. Blackman going back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. And that misses two and two. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Two out, nobody on. Still one and two. One and two. Here it is. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Weekly hit to third. Arenado has to hurry. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. A 1 1 is a bunt attempt, but he missed it. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Into the box now, Dom Nunez. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. 
A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. The set and the 1 1. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Polanco. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And it's a base hit. So there you go. The potential winning run aboard to start off the home half of the night. Into the box now. Jorge Polanco. Fly ball right down the line in left. Dahl's in pursuit. And they can't run it down. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Now here's a line drive. That gets down. It could be extra bases. Here comes the winning run for the plate. Now the relay home. And the Twins are going to walk home a winner. Endings just don't get much better than this. Great job at the plate putting the ball in play and then the runner at first does the rest stop at third no way rounded third flew home and scored the game winner my heart is still in my throat. The man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. It wasn't a huge offensive day for him. He only had one hit, but he definitely made it count. Put one out of here that ended up being a really important swing of the bat in this one. One run game, six to five, the final today. The Twins came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Sergio Romo earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. For the Rockies, five runs on 11 hits, no error. They left seven men on base.